Hello and welcome to another Crafts with Bron. and today I have a special guest star, Neris. We're going to do some craft together, yay! So today I've been quite inspired by our walks home when we've picked up Dane from school and seeing all the lovely colours of autumn, all the browns and the yellows and the greens and the reds. So I thought we would do a lovely autumn tree picture. For this lovely autumn tree picture, you will need a piece of paper. I've chosen pink, but any colour will do. You will also need some paint. Today I am using acrylic paints because I like to live dangerously. You will also need a place, a wide place to put your paint on. Now, what I've done here, I've just covered a plate with tin foil because, um, I mean, especially because I'm using acrylic paints, um, which tends to absorb into things like cardboard a bit easier. But it also like makes a nice little crinkly effect when you dab your dab whatever you're dabbing onto it. You can use cardboard instead, especially if you're using post paint or something that's a little bit um, less clingy than acrylic paint. And you'll also need a brown felt tip pen, or you can use brown paint if you want to be extra messy, but um, you would need to wait for the brown paint to dry before moving on. And you will also need some broccoli! Broccoli paintbrush nest, no way! All will become clear, you will be amazed. So, the first thing we need to do is to draw an outline of a tree. Are you going to help me do this, Ness? I'm going to have to swap you over because I'm not left-handed. I'm not left-handed. So you're just doing a nice big tree trunk. Ready, Ness? Whoop. Whoop. And then some branches, big branches. Whoop. Big branch. Whoop. Big branch. Whoop. Big branch. Whoop. And some little branches. Off your big branches just like that and then here we go here's my my tree my very bare tree <laughs> nailed it and i'm just going to color in the main trunk the branches aren't quite so essential to color in because you'll be painting over the top of them what do you think Ness? we good if you have older children or have time yourself, you can also cut out a tree shape from brown or black paper too, which would also be effective and good to practice cutting skills in older kids. Are we ready for cutting skills yet, Ness? Not yet. So here is my tree. Da -da -da -da! Beautiful. What do you think? Is it good? Oh, it's got the nearest seal of approval. So next we are going to put some paint on our plate. So you want to pick colours that are nice and autumn-y and it's a really nice talking point as well. You can talk about what colours you see on the leaves as you're out walking, which is a really nice way to have a conversation too. And you're going to blob your paint quite close together. So I'm going to, sh going to show you my three paint blobs are quite close together like that and that's fine. A little bit of overlap is what makes this magic. Now, now you're going to use your broccoli paintbrush to dab in the paint. Dab, dab, dab. And you want to get that paint on your broccoli at the same time. So you can see the, the brown, the red, the green. And then you're going to kind of roll and dab it onto your paper. Oh, look at that mess. Look at that. And it creates such a lovely texture. Do we like the sound of the tin foil? That is cool. I think I might have to do this more using tin foil to put paint on because you can hear that really lovely crinkly effect. There we go. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. da. There we go. Hang on. There we go. So you can see it's got a really lovely texture to it. You like that, Neris? Do you like that? Yeah. There you go. You can hold it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Baby's got the broccoli. <laughs> hey, Neris. Should we show everyone our tree? Here it is. Da, 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 da. There we go. 
So it's just a really pretty way to make a tree. I think the lighting doesn't do this justice. There is all those lovely browns and greens and reds. And of course, you can use any colours that you see around, any autumn colours, so oranges and yellows. And you can do lots of different trees and get really creative. So do share and show us your lovely autumn trees. We would love to see what you are making and what you're up to. And we will see you again soon. Shall we say goodbye to everybody? Bye bye, everyone. See you soon.